Okay, this, re this resource is going to take us through steps 3 through 7. Number 3 is so important, it has an extra reminder there. So let's do those right now. All right, so after we've done our flat colors, we've done our blob brush fixes. Next thing we want to do is uh, create our offset. Like, oh, sorry, before we do that, we want to select everything uh, on our flat colors layer, and we need to expand it. So you will go to expand. I've already done mine. You'll get your window that pops up that will ask you to expand your fill strokes, uh, and you'll click OK. And then after you do that, right, as I, when I click off and click back on, uh, when you click on a certain area, everything's going to be selected again. But I want to get just all of these individual uh, color uh, shapes here because we're going to use those to cut into them to make our shadows and our gradients. So in order to do that, with everything still selected, you need to go up to Object and Ungroup. And you need to ungroup it at least three times or until the ungroup option is ghosted out and you can't do it anymore. Only then will you have all of these individual shapes of color, which is what we want. All right, next we need to create our offset layer. So we're going to duplicate our flat colors. Go up to duplicate. And this is for the very last checkpoint, and it's going to be at the very bottom of your layers panel. So go ahead and double click on that and name it offset. Lock it, and you can hide it. All right, so the next thing we need to do for our flat colors layer is to remove all of our black outlines. So the easiest way to do that is to zoom in, get your magic wand tool, make sure nothing's selected, and click on the area of your black outlines. And uh, it should select only those black outlines. Now let's see what happens because I think, yeah, so I, I actually lost some of my nose and my eyes and other areas of black. So it selected all of that black. So I now need to deselect the parts I need to keep, right? Because I have black in my picture. So with everything selected from the magic wand, I'm now gonna hold my shift button and I'm gonna click on the areas I wanna keep. And that's essentially going to deselect. So I'm gonna click on these tire wheels. You don't really, you don't, you won't see anything happening until the end. I want to keep this part there. I want to keep his nose. Uh, you might have to zoom in. I want to keep the black that's in here and here. Keep the black of his eyes there and there. And also this shape up there and that shape there. And I think his toes, I want to keep those. So I need to hold my shift and click each one of these black shapes to deselect them because I don't want to delete them. And the same thing with these black shapes here for his remote control. I need to click, 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 and hit delete. And there we go. I've kept all of the black parts that I wanted to keep. And uh, all of the black outlines are now gone. I can now take my brushes layer, move it to the very top, and I can turn that back on. So there's Here's just my black outlines, and here's just my colors, all on different layers. And now, I can duplicate my flat colors. Duplicate. This is going to be my shadows layer. Shadows. I will want to keep that above my flat colors layer. And then I'm going to duplicate the flat colors again, and I will name it Gradient. This will be my gradient layer. And I'll move it to the top of my shadows, and I can turn both of these off for now. And uh, I believe that's it. Let me go back here and double check. Move the black lines, and we've made our shadows and our gradients layer. So that is it for this walkthrough of the checkpoint.